In the first video, we had talked about some important points about photosynthesis, some basic features and characteristics of photosynthesis. In this video, we will try to find out what we already know about photosynthesis. What we already know? We already know that CO2 gas, chlorophyll, you all know what is chlorophyll? Chlorophyll is one green pigment that is generally present in the leaf of plant. It may be present also in stems of some plant, but it is mostly found in leaves and sunlight these three things are basic essentiality for photosynthesis basis requirement for photosynthesis to occur and you all know that the final product of photosynthesis is glucose but glucose is not generally stored in the plant it transformed into starch then starch is stored in the plant so if we go to find glucose in the plant we will not find it we will find starch so if somewhere in the plant in any leaf starch is found then we may conclude that photosynthesis has occurred there okay so what we will look for photosynthesis it is starch suppose this is one leaf and you all know that in absence of sunlight photosynthesis will not occur means in night time for example photosynthesis will not be occurred in daytime it is generally occurred if in any leaf you find starch if starch is present here then we may conclude that photosynthesis has occurred there okay so in this video we will recall some simple experiments which you may have carried out in your earlier classes those experiments were actually experiments to look for starch okay those experiments were actually to look for starch and what we had done there first in one experiment we had taken one variegated leaf suppose this is one leaf and we are calling that we have taken one variegated leaf what this variegated leaf means variegated leaf is such type of leaves which has both green and non green part for example suppose this is green part and this is non green part okay and on testing these leaves for the presence of starch it was clear to us that photosynthesis was occurred only in the green part of the plants means starch taste was positive only in this green part here was starch there was no starch okay so this experiment suggested us that chlorophyll the green color of the leaf is generally due to the presence of chlorophyll because its color is green it is one pigment that is present in the leaf and the green color of leaf is generally due to the chlorophyll okay so chlorophyll is essential this experiment is suggesting us and also making it clear to us how essential the chlorophyll is for photosynthesis in another one type of experiments what we did we took one leaf suppose this is one leaf one portion of the leaf we covered it with black paper suppose this is covered with black paper okay covered with black paper so this is black so what will be the role of black paper this black paper will prevent sunlight from entering into chlorophyll it will create one barrier between the sunlight and the chlorophyll it means some chlorophylls inside the black paper will not get sunlight and another part will simply exposed to sunlight in this experiment also there was also sunlight present okay it was also done in presence of sunlight and on testing this for the presence of starch it was also clear that starch taste was positive only in this part here no starch was found this experiment indicates us the sensitivity of sunlight for photosynthesis to occur another one type of experiments we had carried out where we took one leaf and one portion of the leaf was enclosed inside one 
Pestule. Suppose uh, this portion of the leaf is enclosed into one test tube and this test tube is filled with KOH soaked cotton. Okay. This is not empty. This is filled with KOH soaked cotton. So this portion, this portion, KOH soaked cotton. What will be the role of KOH? Well, this is one base. This will simply absorb all the CO2 which will come in its contact. Means this layer, this layer of KOH soaked cotton will prevent CO2 from breaking to the surface of the leaf and this was simply open to air. And on testing this leaf also for the presence of starch, which part was positive for starch test? This part which was open to air, it was positive for starch. So this experiment is indicating us the sensuality of CO2 in case of photosynthesis. Now we have to clear one important concept. While we are writing what we know about photosynthesis and, and what are the essential raw materials that are needed for photosynthesis, we are writing then it is CO2, it is chlorophyll and sunlight. We are not writing H2O, okay? But while writing the equation, or generally when we study photosynthesis, what do you write? It is CO2 plus H2O. Then you can write in this way, CH2O, O, CH2O, N plus oxygen. This structure indicates actually carbohydrates. Okay? So there is one question, is water is a must for photosynthesis to occur or not? The answer will be not. And this development of understanding was given by the scientist Cornelius von Nile. Cornelius von Nile uh, on his studies, based on his studies on purple and green photosynthetic sulfur bacteria so does one important concept and that concept is that he observed in these organisms purple and green photosynthetic sulfur bacteria that no oxygen is evolving this part is absent no oxygen is evolving why because these organisms purple or green photosynthetic sulfur bacteria they don't use h2o they use h2s hydrogen sulfide so if you use hydrogen sulfide then obviously this oxygen this water's oxygen is actually this oxygen so oxygen will not be evolved let us see what is the role of this h2o this h2 actually donating hydrogen to this carbon dioxide and that's why this carbon dioxide is being reduced okay and this water this is being converted to oxygen hydrogen is being removed that means it is being oxidized so the role of the water is in two ways one it is generating hydrogen to carbon dioxide means reducing carbon dioxide to sugars and also it is being oxidized to oxygen so if you replace h2o with h2s then what will happen the final product carbohydrate will be produced because in H2S it will also act as hydrogen donor, it will act as also hydrogen donor, but the end product oxygen will not be synthesized. Here the end product will be sulfur or sulfate compound or sulfate compound. Okay. So in photosynthesis, what is clear? Though in 99.99 cases H2 is required and H2 is implied. But in absence of H2O, photosynthesis may be occurred, like as in Parkman green photosynthetic bacteria, where they use hydrogen sulfide instead of H2O. So what this compound should be actually? What this compound should be? What properties this compound should have? 
this compound should be easily oxidizable and this should have also the property of donating hydrogen and this role can be played by H2, H2S or any similar type of compounds. So finally, if you want to write down the exact equation of photosynthesis, this, this should be like this, CO2 plus H2A, this A may be variable and this A may be oxygen or sulfur, means this compound may be hydrogen sulfide or H2O, water, then sunlight and the product should be like this, CH2O plus A plus H2O and after balancing this, if you balance it, then what will be? It will be like this. It will be like this. So this should be the final equation, the exact equation of photosynthesis.